Hey guys, welcome back, J-O-B Fishing. So the opening sequence, that was from last weekend. So Melissa and I, uh, we looked at the, uh, this is a modus picture of the lake from last weekend. Obviously you can see a lot of uh, ice still up in Canada. There's a lot of ice around the islands and in Catawba, all the way from Lorraine up to Sandusky. So uh, in the clip, the opening sequence that we opened with, You'll see us going out, checking uh, everything out. And actually, I got some drone images there of uh, what Missouri looked like. So, long story short, we uh, we determined that we were going to give it a shot on Sunday to go ahead and uh, get out, being that uh, Catawba was uh, ice-free. Mind you, there was still a lot of ice down uh, along the shoreline. So, we went out, we tried on Sunday, unfortunately. Uh, the winds kind of changed, they started blowing out of the northeast. Uh, we came, uh, we launched as we were going out to, uh, I believe it was uh, FCAN, uh, as we were uh, approaching, you know, came around that corner of Catawba, the waves just picked up, we speared two waves, and uh, not to mention the wind chills were down to like, I think 22 degrees. So, we called it. So, today, um, this morning, we uh, everything looks great. This is a uh, uh, updated modus uh, shot. So as you can see, most of the ice, you still have a little bit of ice up there in Canada. However, the southern part of the lake where we'll be fishing is ice free. So um, the one thing I will point out here, uh, you see right off of uh, the uh, nuclear power plant, Bessie uh, uh, power plant, there is a, I don't know, a finger of, stained dirty water so what we're going to do the plan is we're going to launch out of Catawba we're going to zigzag our way out uh, we're going to try around this uh, we'll try in it we'll try around it what we're going to do a lot of uh, time graphing this morning obviously it's the first time in 2021 since ice off that we've been out so gotta try to put a program together so we will be doing a lot of graphing uh, and uh, we'll see what happens the other things we look at, uh, obviously, this is uh, Navionics. So if you're looking at this, you can see this is, uh, so there's Catawba, um, and we'll be launching out. Here's the uh, buoy line. So that, uh, that dirty water is right basically here going from the nuclear power plant to Niagara. So we're gonna try on the uh, east side of it. We'll try on the west side. I have uh, got a couple tips from the guys uh, during the week. They were actually uh, catching them from uh, Cone Creek to Beacan. So uh, we know that there's fish out there uh, based on reports. However, on our way out, we're gonna be doing some other graphing and seeing if we can pick up other schools of fish. Uh, that's pretty much it. We'll get started and uh, we'll see you guys on the water.
All right. Beautiful day, early. I don't even know what date. I don't even know the date. 13th. So, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous day. Lake's beautiful. So, on, like I said earlier in the uh, intro, we're going to be uh, heading out pretty much uh, this area right here. So, unless of course we start marking on the way there. So, if we, uh, if we mark some pods, we will fish it. two times. Yeah, a bunch of boats sitting here. We're going to probably go past them though. Probably about 26 boats fishing the uh, can line right there. Yeah, all these guys are uh, targeting the F can. Marking some fish. Put stuff on the bottom of that ain't. That's not what we're targeting anyway. Might be. Yeah, I remember we're uh, we're cruising at 25 miles an hour, so a couple on the bottom. Keep graphing. We're gonna go to that spot, like I said. Let's go find a little bit. The uh, water is super. I mean. Considering the time of year and in the Western Basin, this water right here, super clean. Um, obviously, you can see what's the water temps here. Yeah, I'm getting the water temps of 39 degrees, so. You see what it does when we get over towards that dirty water. I would imagine that's gonna be a, maybe a degree or two warmer. Might attract more bait fish. I don't know. Just a theory. Let's see. Starting to see a few here. And of course, guys, right now, your marks at this speed, even though we're not going blistering fast, we're doing 27 miles an hour. There's some decent marks. Might mark that. Come back to that. So we're sitting on the bottom with me and Surly. Of course, once that uh, sun comes up a little bit higher, starts warming up the surface, typically, not always, but typically, uh, those uh, walleye that are sitting on the bob start cruising up, start feeding up on the surface or warming up. All right, so, go to chart options, do my fishing range. I got set to 30, I'm gonna bring that down to, 22. So the program is we're gonna we're gonna start off with uh, bandits. It's always a go-to starting point. Uh, we'll try some different depths. Try some high. Try some low. I've got mixed reports, so um, we'll throw we'll throw everything at it this morning in the bandits. Uh, see how we do. Uh, I'd like to throw on some deep down husky jerks. See what kind of bite we get on those. Um, might even throw some P10s. We'll see. We're in about uh, 24 foot of water. It seemed like we were marking pretty good right around that 30 mark. So, yeah, first time out since ice off. Trying to get a feel for where these fish are stacking up. Imagine these fish, if they're not already started, they're, uh, they're gonna go into spawn here any day. All right, we're getting some pretty good marks here. So, Slow down a little bit. See what we uh, see what we can mark here. Get this uh, graph. Get this back down to normal speed. Let's see what we got here. A couple 
marks there. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice big mark coming up to about 15 foot. Mm -hmm. Couple uh, sitting up just about 14, maybe 13. Right where they're supposed to be. So, we're gonna be trolling guys probably somewhere between 0.8 up to 1.4. That's, that's what we're gonna start off with. So, I'm just gonna use the uh, electric trolling motor. Without the uh, kicker today. So we're definitely gonna switch these uh, baits up. These are uh, very loud baits. This is something I would normally use in overcast, dirty water. This actually might be a good bait right there. That'd be good. Well, that Do you want stand. me to get the other ones out? What's that? Do you want me to get them out? Yeah, the bandits. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch it up for sure. All right, let's get some of these. Funky colors off. Let's get some of these. I'd probably go with one of these chromes. As you'll hear most guys, they'll they'll tell you that a lot of times more important than the damn color is uh, making sure your baits are tuned. I'll do uh, 40, 80, 120. Let's spread them out a yeah. little bit. Okay. So what we're talking about, guys, we're talking about our lead lengths, which is obviously controls. If you uh, if you don't have the precision trolling app, uh, you may have dive charts depending on the lures. Uh, a lot of the lures, uh, if you go on their website, they'll have the dive charts, uh, which tells you how much line to let out for a depth. And we're marking a bunch of fish right on the bottom right now. But uh, yeah, so obviously, so what that's going to do is that 40 uh, off the top of my head, probably going to be somewhere around that 10 to 12 mark, I think, without looking at my uh, my chart. Um, this 80, it's going to be somewhere around that 18, 17 foot. Uh, and then we'll do like a 120, which will uh, bring it back to uh, 22 foot down. So, kind of spreads it through the water column until, uh, what are we doing on this, 180? 160. Oops. So uh, typically guys, I try to keep my outside boards up higher. And then as the boards are coming towards the center of the boat, I try to get the lines deeper, deeper, deeper. Um, one of the things that, like I said, in one of the videos, we use the orange clips. <laughs> so we try to, uh, clear the board. Uh, we don't have to clear boards. We just snap them. All right, guys. So check our tensions. Let's make sure the clickers are on, especially this time of year. We got, to uh, some big fish, bigger fish. Sometimes they'll hit it pretty hard. And you don't want it to. You want your reels locked up. You'll just end up losing the fish. So, all right. So we've slowed down to one, 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 two. I was at one four to let the lines out a little bit faster, but the water. Uh, you can see actually. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but you can actually see it's. The water's pretty darn clear here. You can actually see cavitation out. You can see the prop, so. Possibly could go down a little bit deeper or mark a fish, but I think as the snake gets, uh, progresses on, we'll start seeing those fish moving up a little bit, especially when the sun starts coming up a little bit higher, so. Yeah, this is a shotgun approach. Um, kind of see where, uh, which fish are going to be active at this point. And if we start seeing a pattern, we'll uh, adjust our our depths, speeds, what have you. So, 
Oh, that's Ooh, there we go. Outside. Yours? Or mine? Yeah. Yeah. That was a weird strike. I don't know what the, what's going on. Typically this time of year, you don't get a lot of junk fish, so it could be just a small walleye. <coughs> but, uh, it was uh, pecking at this uh, board. Hey, you notice guys, what I did was I released that front clip on the uh, planer board. I mean, uh, and now I'm just letting that, uh, I'm not reeling in, I'm kind of letting that uh, go to the center. Uh, center line of the boat before I start reeling in so it doesn't tangle up on my other inside boards but uh, uh, the Romanax fishing 411 they do a fantastic job uh, explaining all the offshore tackle boards and how they set it up and it's a really nice system so Kind of a weird strike the board's actually under the water so which typically tells me it's a larger fish but you got one on your inside there you go okay all right so double header actually it's our first wow yeah <laughs> let's go back this would be our first walleye uh, if we land one of these two fish of 2021. And if we land both, this would be our first double header of 2021. So, no pressure. Do you want to get mine? Okay, fish. Comes over to the right. I'm at 60. Oh, heck. Are you Need flipping? Or are you netting? I'll sl I can slow down. Huh? All right, let's try to. <laughs> That's a little bit. Mine's small. You want to put yours down and uh, you want uh, to? net mine? Yeah. Be a decent fish. Woo, 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 woo. Eight, seven. Stand down. Could be a good fish here. Right there. There he comes. Good. Oh, nice fish. Just hold it right there. I'll get it. All right. Good fish. Okay, so we're. Uh, a little rusty. What do you want? I know, because I was on the wrong side when you told me to move. <laughs> I'm All getting right. close. What? I'm getting close. Are you getting out? That's a nice size fish. Yeah, so 24, 24 inch walleye. It's a beautiful fish. All right, that's two. Oops, sorry. All right, all right. So this so it's a, that's a little one. twenty-one, a twenty-one inch. Are we keeping? Yes. We are. For Rick, remember? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I got one on the inside. All right. Okay, so for the record, can't wait to get these uh, fat suits off. Stay there, don't move. I'm not. So. It makes it really tough moving around the boat in these suits. They are warm, don't get me wrong. Uh, 
But they're like 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah. My, they might they might be 20 pounds at the beginning of the day, but as the day goes on, they start to feel like more like 100 pounds. Oh, come here. So right now, we've got two fish in the boat. There's a plug in yet. We got another. Yeah. Let me turn that. Turn the live well on. All right. Do you want to get this or? Yeah. Watch your, there's a lure on them. All right. There's a boat somewhat ahead of you. Oops, sorry. I bonked you. Okay, what do you got? Bigger. No, what line count? 85. What's that? 85. Okay. Whew. Well, we only have half the boards in the water still, so once we land this fish, and we'll go ahead and try to get the boards back out. And let's go ahead and throw a mark down, seeing I forgot to mark the first two. 27. What? <laughs> oh, it's stand down. Must be a decent one. Ooh. Three, oh. two. It's a nice fish. Oh, oh. oh, nice fish. Where did this come from? Hmm? Where did it come from? Was my question. Good fish. Oh, that's gone. Good old faithful. It's what? Let's get up in my. Uh, my lucky lure. Oh, good. That's a good fish. Let's get a measurement on that. Oop. <laughs> so another 24 inch fish. And that's solid. That's a beautiful Lake Erie walleye. He's going to jump any second. 24. We're going to have fish all over the boat. All right. Check, make sure that bait's tuned. We're good. All right. I don't know how long we've been fishing. I don't know. What time is it? Nine o'clock. So an hour. Half an hour. We've been with the lines in. We got three fish. One every ten minutes. Might be an early day. Should be so lucky. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing, guys. So we have my middle boards out. So this is gonna be my ins uh, my outside. So it's gonna have a 40 lead. So what we'll do is get this to the outside. What I'll do is I'll drop this in the water and I'll free spool it. So I'm not going to put the clicker on because the clicker is going to put tension. It's going to carry that board over towards my middle board. So right now I'm just letting it, that board sit. Peeper line over to the right. So i um, just going to get it to a certain point. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put the clip in the, uh, the rod. And then it'll have obviously the idea or the theory is it'll go carry over top of the other board and set up in place without tangling. I mean, at least that's what the theory is. So now we hit uh, 160, so I got a 40 lead. I'm going 120 out, so I go 160 total. So once I hit that mark after free spooling, clipped in the uh, reel, so now it's carrying itself outside the uh, middle board. Now I'm gonna go ahead, do my inside. I'm gonna check, make sure this bait's tuned. It's good enough. And of course, we're gonna go, uh, again, we're sticking so far. I mean, we're all over the map. I mean, I've caught it, I caught a fish at 22 foot and then we've caught it as high as 11, so. And that's why sometimes you just gotta stagger your lines until, uh, so what line yeah, did you, you hit, you hit inside, <laughs> didn't you? 
Yes. Yeah, yours was inside. So honestly, Deeper. guys, we've had two at the 20, 22 foot depth. We didn't, but, but we did have the one up at 11. And so far, the bigger one came on the 11, the two smaller fish came at the uh, deeper. So we've caught more fish deeper, but they're not necessarily as large. I think the uh, outside board or the uh, high board caught the uh, bigger fish. larger of the uh, three fish. And I don't know why I keep looking at this camera, seeing that there's one right here, but it'll She'll take me a bit, guys. It. Bear with me. Remember there's editing as well. And and my camera person's kind of bossy. She has things to do. Look, what? that board didn't even set and I got it. That uh, So guys, that's the outside board that hadn't even got into place yet. So this could be fun. So that was, uh, this is again, this is the high board. This is the 11 foot down. And uh, I was let this thing was still hadn't even got into what I consider the lineup. So it was about 10 feet from uh, getting to where it needed to be. Um, and it got hit. So hopefully this will be fish number four. Hey, co angler. Yeah. There's a uh, fish on. I know. You're like 120 turns out. I'll be ready when the time comes. You know where your pretty little head. Oh, Jesus. I think I've... My base layer probably weighs about 15 pounds worth of sweat right now. So... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This fish is not happy. No. And it's trying to get over to my other board. Come on. So here's the problem. The board didn't set all the way, so it didn't carry over top of that other board all the way. So now that I landed fit this fish, I'm trying to go a little bit faster on the reel end, which faster speed might bring that fish up a little bit higher to try to keep it out of that second line or that middle, uh, middle board. But, We'll see here in a minute. It's a decent sized fish. He's uh, actually tire, tiring out my winter arm a little bit. And I'm just keeping an eye on that middle board to see if I start pulling that back. And I am, so we are tangled. And there is the first tangle of 2021, but kind of expected it because we didn't get that board all the way set before that fish decided to hit. What a mess. Babe, can you reel in that other uh, rod? I got too much slack line there. No, just, just keep it in the spot and just reel it in. Yeah, just try to get that line tight. Oh, there's my fish. Where? All right, let's do this. Net, 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 net. Good sized fish. All right. Fatty. Ooh. All right, let's get that in the boat and we'll work on getting untangled. All right. Do you want me to reel in more? No, just leave it alone for now. Okay. Now, Do you this, want me to let your this line? hook, if you notice on this actual bait, <laughs> we have some pretty aggressive EWG extra wide gaps hooks on them. And I believe they're trocars. Uh, they are vicious hooks. Is there a line in here? So, oops, let's put that on auto. Another uh, 23 inch fish, beautiful fish. Again, I don't know why I'm just showing that. So, beautiful fish. So that makes uh, four fish. This is, oh, oh, here, I got that. Go get that rod. So as we're sitting here messing with this, 
You hear that drag being pulled back from Melissa's side of the boat. Oh my gosh, it's huge, or a junk fish. Well, if we were sitting- It's moving. If we were sitting in July, I'd say a good chance it's a junk fish, but this time of year, normally you don't get near the amount of junk fish hits. It's a big one. Okay, whoa, you got another line out or something. What what line is that? This is yours. Yeah, you only have, you have no lines in the water. Okay. So this one's yours. Hold on, let me get this one out. I think this is my middle board. Yes, so let's get this one out. And this only has 40, so you can roll it back in. All right, let's get this out of the way. And that's not perfectly tuned. I mean, if you guys saw that, it kind of slightly pulled to the left when I was burning it. There was no camera on it, so probably it not. Probably needs to be tweaked just to the right. This is a nice Okay, keep to the fish. right now. So Melissa thinks she's got a monster. I got a 12 pounder on this line. 12 pounder? Okay, you heard her, guys. It's on tape. Let's, well, we don't have the weigher out, so let, I say I've got a 25 incher at least. 25? Yeah. Really? I do. She's calling it. <laughs> oh, crap. No, so, I got so I was, for the record, <laughs> not a 25 pounder. It's uh, probably a two pounder caught up with two <laughs> other lines. I don't know how Why the heck. Why are we having this issue? I don't know. It's really tight, so be careful. Yeah, hold on. What the F? All right, let's get that out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Am okay, I good? On. No, go back. Go back. <laughs> gotcha. All right, hold on. What do we got going on here? Ah, oh, geez. Okay. Stay right there. What line do you have? Oh, hell, I don't know. Reel it in. <laughs> I have no idea. Go easy. I'm at 18. I think I straightened myself out. Might have. It's nice still fish. a big fish. It's a good size. It's probably like 20. Ooh, you're barely hooked. Oh, you're lucky you have a good net, man. <laughs> oh yeah, you're still tangled. All right, for the record. What is it? 22. <laughs> No. Look at that inside, inside board. Little one, probably. Little tugs. Mind you, you know, you're not uh, going very fast, so. Where are you? 100. Little? It's hard to say. It's tugging. Wow. Uh, like another like three and a half, four pounder. Staying down. Where are 30 you? 30 feet. Oh, I got an outside hit. Twelve feet. Oh, big fish. Whoa, get it in. Alright, get that outside.
On the paint. Huh? On the paint. Ooh, this one's full. This one doesn't want to trip. This one's full of... Uh, oh, get, get it out. Get it out. <laughs> get it out. Is it six? Yeah. It's got barnacles. 23. Oops. I can't trip this board. There we go. Well, it's not tripping. Well, then you gotta be careful. I mean, it's not tripping. It's not tripping. Nope. Gotta reel it in. You want it? Yeah. Take it. You want me to keep this in or go ahead? No. What's yeah, my inside board? In. Bring it in. in. Put the line up. Or something's wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Metal board. Let's uh, let's get this taken care of first. Oh, I am horsing the hell out of this fish. I know. Put that rod on my side. Good fish, needing that. Ooh. I can't believe you still have Ooh. it. 18. That's a fish. Ooh, ooh. Come on. No, 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 no. Watch, 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 watch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What are you doing, dude? Is it caught on something? No. Ready? Yep. Whoa. Nice fish. Heavy. That's a good one. Should I reel in my middle? Yes. Wow, nice fish. Woo, he straightened that hook out. Did he? Yeah, you did. Good fish. Let's see. Twenty-four and a half. Nice fish. Though. Big fatty. Yeah, really nice fish. Oh, oop. Is your hook out of the net? Yeah. Do you have one? Uh -huh. I'm still 40 away, so you can put your line up if you want. Oh. I have the middle line, the inside line as well. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you have a fish or just your inside board? Oh, there's fish. Oh, nice one. Woo, big one. Oh wow. Nice fish. Yeah. What do you need? Either open the fish well. Or what? <laughs> or grab the lure or the rod or I don't know how, how long this one is. Okay. Good fish. Let's just go with that. No, you have a fish or something. I do. Something going on. You gotta reel it in. Yeah, I do, because it's like all the way over there. Yep. I don't know how the heck you got all the way over there. He swam, maybe? You have a fish? I either, yes, I have a fish. 
It wants to come to your side. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, a little guy. Well, it's not. It's, it's, it's a in the eye. Ugh. Yes. All right. Watch, you're in the, you're in the line. Another nice fish. Do you think that's because we're turning? There you go. Fish on. We got inside rod, 22 foot down. On a turn. Huh? Oh, no on a turn. On, and nothing on, on the, the outside turn. So you know what? That's a little bit faster. So we might have to check up our speed a little bit here. Which one? That? It's my sister. <coughs> oh, horse set. Mimi. It's a floater. Yeah. Surf it. Put your rod tip up on the surface. Oh, nope, no, 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 you can't. Easy, easy. All right. All right. Oh, hit the, hit the camera. What? Right down. What did you say? I hit the camera. Oh. This smell, um, that's funny. What? This fish smells like black licorice. What? Yeah. You've been eating black licorice? <laughs> that's like kind of odd. Yeah. Hmm. Peculiar. Anyway. Put it on the other six, side. Seven, eight, <laughs> nine, nine. So we got nine in the box. Released one. So we've got ten fish. Not too shabby. It really does smell like black licorice. Is it your lore that smells like black licorice, maybe? No. What's up with your inside board? I know. Here, you want to do this? You're going to make them do my own? Yeah, I don't know if I got fish on this or not. Yeah, something's wrong. Maybe have a little guy on it. I'll check it. Are there any other barnacle fish in there that you'd get rid of? No. Why? You want to get rid of some fish? I just saw one that had a thing. Yeah, there's a couple in there that have some on there. But one or a few is not bad. I mean, they're not. You don't eat the skin. What? But it's, you don't eat the skin. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't, I mean, you can still eat them. There's, there no, there's nothing wrong with them. It's, uh, it's some type of parasite they get in their skin. So would um, that They're still edible. To they're still fine. But when, it's, you, you gotta get your tip over to the right. My line's on the other side of you. But when it gets to be that much. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I am totally over. Mm. Go, go under. Go to the other side. Quick, quick, quick. I'm just gonna freeze it and get the net. Or are you gonna flip it? It's so much easier fishing without a jacket on. You barely hook. Another fish. Man, fishing is fantastic. Here we go. 
How are we on boat? Good. All right, here we go. Another fish on. Woo, she tugging. Could be a nice fish. my rod. Holy crap. That's a good fish. You want to do the hooks? Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, She tugging. I got my inside pole. Yep, you did. Shit. Twenty-six. Fourteen. Whoa, big fish. fish. Oh, nice fish. Oh. Yeah, inside. Net. Oh, you have a fish? Nope. Is it my fish? Nope. Ten, nine, eight, six, five. There it is. I see. Ooh, nice up. fish. Oh. Get it. Woohoo! Oh, a beautiful fish. Oh, whoa. Nice fish. <laughs> Definitely call that one. Here, move that over for a sec. I know we have a little one in here. They're not little. God damn, all these are big fish. That one bigger than that. I know we have a little one somewhere. I, I thought so too. Hmm? I thought so. I thought so too. Yay, he went. <laughs> All right, which side did I take that off of? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. This is the lure I caught it off of right here. 
What is this, purple? Oh, guys, you know what? I don't think I've ever said this on camera. So I'm completely colorblind, have no idea. I would say that's either purple or blue on top with a gold bottom and chrome with orange dots. Melissa, what is it? Green dots. Green dots. Purple so. chrome. Purple and? Yellow. That's yellow? Gold. That was close. So obviously there's the, the colorblind stuff coming in. So <laughs> I thought they were uh, orange dots, but they're green. So just for the record, so. So don't listen to him? <laughs> yeah. No, so picking out colors is typically uh, my job, Melissa's job, or at least telling me what I'm what I'm holding, <laughs> or what I'm fishing with. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, I'm going to uh, actually put a little uh, part at the end, probably do a little B-roll segment uh, through the drone up. So we did find that dirty water. Um, and unfortunately, the, it was too stained. We didn't see a lot of movement. It actually didn't mark any fish inside of the uh, actual stain part. We did find the fish, obviously, where we had the tips over on the uh, west side of that dirty water. We did mark some fish on the east side, but primarily everything that we caught today was on the west of that dirty water. But if you guys like the video, please comment, like, and hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you back on the water next time.